The June 21st edition of Friday Night Smackdown began with massive excitement and ended with a huge shocker that seemed to strengthen the bloodline, led by Solo Sokoa. After Cody Rhodes saved CM Punk from a possible attack by the bloodline earlier in the night, a match between Rhodes and Sokoa was scheduled later on in the night, and both men agreed to battle it out one-on-one -on -one without any backup. However, just halfway through their match, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa came down to attack Cody, only to be neutralized by his own allies and bloodline sworn enemy, Kevin Owens. Right after, Solo Sokoa found himself cornered by the three men, begging for dear life, however, his helplessness quickly turned into a nasty smirk. At that moment, another member of the Inoai family, Jacob Fatu, who had been rumored to appear in WWE for weeks, finally made his shocking debut. The werewolf laid havoc on both Orton and Owens and while it seemed that Cody Rhodes had fought back, he was quickly overpowered by Jacob Fatu, who planted Rhodes on the announcer's desk with a slam and pledged his allegiance to Solo and the Bloodline to close the show. What are your thoughts on Jacob Fatu's shocking debut in WWE on SmackDown? Sound off in the comments!